All right, so today's gonna be a quick video. So as you guys saw um, in my last video, um, we ended up saving three of these loads at 28.1 grains of Fargate and the 108 ELD match. So I need to pull these. And what I'm gonna do today is test what happens when you pull them and then reload them and shoot again. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load these up at 27.5 grains after we pull the bullets because this shot our best group last video and we're just going to see if they shoot well now i'll show you the process i'm going to take to go ahead and pull these and reload them nothing fancy here going to use our frankfurt arsenal inertial bullet puller and we're just going to go ahead and make sure that it's cleaned out right we're going to make sure there's no powder in there because we're going to reuse this powder that's in these so i've pulled some bullets before and Obviously want to make sure that this is empty so that way we're not contaminating our powder. So believe there is nothing in there. So we are ready to go ahead and pull some of these bullets. So usually what I do is get some kind of container to put the powder in because I don't want to pour any of this powder back in my original bottle of Varget. Um, don't know that it would matter, but I guess I don't want to contaminate or do anything like that. So Go ahead and slide the bullet in and lock her down. And now I'm not gonna hit this on my reloading bench. This is just an old oak desk that I have. So I'm actually gonna go over and slam this on the uh, concrete floor that's got a little bit of carpet over it. So let's move over there. All right, so a couple hits here. Usually take a look, see if the bullet's moving. Looks like it is. And probably one more light hit. And as you can tell, now we've got powder and a bullet in there. So we're going to go back over to the reloading bench. All right, so got that powder loose in there. Obviously, we need to take the empty case out, which should be empty. And usually, I just pour it all right back in there. Now... Some of these tend to get powder wanting to get stuck in there. So obviously a couple little taps. Don't feel like anything left in there. And that leaves us with our pulled bullet, which if you notice, there's no scratches on it, nothing like that, because eh, actually you can kind of see a little bit where the bullet was seated, but no scratches, nothing like that. These should shoot fine. So go ahead and set that one off to the side and I'm gonna do the other two here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those, the exact same methods, and then I'll see you back over here. All right, so what we're left with here is three pulled bullets and three obviously ready to go cases and a little bit of powder. So I think most people will go ahead and resize or do something to the next, but um, I usually don't. Usually whenever I'm gonna reload something like this, I'm not shooting it for any relevance, just kind of shooting it to get the brass fired again. And uh, today, what I'm going to do is we're going to use these three to kind of warm up the gun with the video you're going to see this weekend. So these three shots at 27.5 grains. So we should have a couple granules left of Vargit. Not going to put this back in my, my pound of Vargit, kind of like I talked about. I'm just going to go ahead and throw those few pellets away. So let's go ahead and load these up and then we'll go ahead and get them reseated. All right, so not much powder in here, but should be enough to load three of these rounds. So 27.5 grains is what we're looking for. Oh, too much. All right, so there's one at 27.5. Again, we're gonna go ahead and dump that into the old piece brass. And obviously we're gonna weigh out the other two. All right, 27.5 again. And our last one should be pretty easy to weigh out because we pretty much just dump all this.
All right, and 27.5 again. All right, so we've got our three loaded up there. All right, so let's go over to bullet seating. All right, so my die is still set up from the last video. As you guys can see, I finally went ahead and mounted the uh, press to the bench the way it should with a piece of steel. So after a few years of fighting with that wood, we finally gave up and uh, mounted it properly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and reseat these. Now, really as far as the neck tension feels when seating them, they feel about the same as what they did the other day. I'm guessing because they've been loaded for a couple days, potentially we could have a little less neck tension on these that are loaded today than what we had when we loaded them the other day. But like I said, I'm not too concerned about it because I'm just shooting them out 100 yards for fun. Let's double check our overall length here. All right, so that's gonna be close enough for me, 2.273. Not even really gonna bother measure these cartridge base to OJF because again, I really don't care that much. So 2.272, close enough, these are pulled bullets. So let's get out on the range and let's see these three shoot. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. Um, we're gonna shoot those three that we just pulled and reloaded at 27.5 grain. Uh, targets at 100 yards. You'll see the description of the gun there on the screen. This is my Savage. 110 switchback six millimeter arc so let's go ahead and we'll shoot these three the gun is cold all right so that first one came out pretty hot at 26.92 That one came out also pretty hot. 2,705. All right, and that one was 2,700 as well. But, looks like a good group over there. So, I'll tell you what our three uh, average for velocity. Again, we were higher today than we were the last time we shot these. Interestingly. But, it looks like uh, pulling them, reloading them, shot, still shot a really nice group. Yeah, 26.99 feet per second average with a 6.3 SD. So I'll go over and we'll grab the target and we'll see what the group size is. Alrighty, so good looking group here. Today we shot a 0.41 inch group, 26.99 feet per second with a 6.3 SD. So this compares pretty well with what we shot the other day um, at this same load. Um, we shot a 0.39 inch group the other day. So pulling these bullets really didn't change the group size. Now we did get a little bit of a bump in our velocity today. Not sure what the cause of that is because we were at 26.75 the first time we shot this load. So interesting numbers here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.